Good day, everyone. We are the group one, and we are tasked to talk about the Marine Sexton. Here with me today is Mr. Magdaleno Aberion Jr. and Batukan Jude Andre. So our learning objectives for today's discussion is mainly to know about the uses and the dis to know about the uses and the principles of the Marine Sextant. So to proceed with, so a sextant is an instrument used to measure angles, mainly used at sea. It is a tool named because its arc is one sixth of a circle, which is which is 60 degrees. So it adheres to the principle of double reflection. Hence, it can measure angles up to 120 degrees. So practically speaking, the arc of the sextant is a little over 60 degrees and therefore, so the total angle measurable is about 130 degrees. So that is the total angle measured measurable using the sextant. So a sextant is, a, is a is an essential tool for celestial navigation and is used to measure the angle between the horizon and a visible object or specifically a celestial object. So the sextant is used to measure the following. It is used to measure the vertical sextant angle or the VSA, the horizontal sextant angle, HSA, and the altitudes. So these angles will be tackled further by our next reporter. And let me give the floor to Mr. Magdaleno Abrion. This is Mayor Lahore. So I will proceed the con presentation. So the let's go to the principle of the sextant. So number one, the principle of the sextant is a when a ray of light is re reflected by a plane mirror, the angle of the incident ray is equal to the angle of the reflected ray. When the incident ray reflected ray and the normal lie on the same plane. Okay. So the second principle will be when a ray of light suffers two successive reflections in the same plane by two plane mirrors, the angle between the incident ray and the reflected ray is twice the angle between the mirrors. So in uh, basically, or let's let's just simple things up, no? So all it is is a device that measures the angle between two objects. So that's the, that's a sextant. So the sextant makes use of two mirrors with the sextant, one of the mirrors, the mirror A in the diagram is half silvered, which allows some light to pass through. So in navigating, you look at the horizon through this mirror. So in the next slide, we will uh, with, um, much understand the, the parts of the sextant. So these are the different parts of a sextant. Uh, okay, so the first is the index mirror so that's the index mirror and and the, the next is shade glasses no so these are uh, used um depending on the um uh, what the intensity of the sunlight that's coming through your sextant so that's that's also a way to um protect your eyes next is the horizon mirror no that's the horizon mirror and next still shade glasses no to protect your eyes, Japan. And the the bottom one, bottom one is the arc, no? So we, the arc is the one you will um, adjust for um, the the degree of the angle, uh, depending on the um, desired uh, use, no? Next is the micrometer drum. That's a micrometer drum, no? And clamp. Yeah, index bar. Yeah, magnifying glass. And next is the frame, no? So the sextant has a frame, Japan. And lastly, it has a telescope in which is like a viewfinder. So that are the different parts of the sextant. So next it will be uh, presented furthermore by Mr. Uh, Magdaleno. So in my report, I will, I will discuss about how does a sextant works and how to use it. So first, we can see that in this diagram, the sextant makes use of two mirrors. So those mirrors are discussed by our the second reporter, Mr. Jude Andre Batokan. So with these sextants, one of these mid mirror, mirror A, the mirror A in the diagram is half silvered. 
so which allows some light to pass through in navigating you look at the horizon through this mirror so this is these are the use of the two mirrors they use to to get the the light of the the light coming coming from the sun that reflects the second and let's go to the second slide so the other mirror the mirror b in the diagram we can see that in this diagram the mirror b is attached to a movable arm so there is a movable arm of, in this the, there is a movable movable a arm in this marine sextant that that help the the mirror b to to move so the light from an object let's say the sun reflects off this mirror so the arm can be moved to a position where the sun reflects off the mirror also reflects off mirror a and through the the eyepiece so what you see when this happens is one object so let's say that this is the sun superimposed on the other the horizon the angle between the two objects is the read of the scale so the angle between the horizon and the sun will be the read of of the scale so next so navigation sextant reading on and off the arc so the normal graduation of the arc to this left of zero extending from zero to 130 degrees from referred to us on the earth to the right of zero degrees the regression extends for a few degrees and are referred to as the off arc so when reading off the arc graduations of the micrometer should be ready in the reverse directions 59 as one and 55 as one and so on so this is the readings and on and off of the marine sextant so furthermore will be discussed of mr or the the closing remarks from the our my group mates mr abastas and mr batukan so that is all for our report for today we are just mainly tackling about the principles or the basics about the marine sextant. So thank you everyone for listening and have a nice day.